Wait, is that him? It is! Sir Clive! Sir Clive! Ah, Forsyth, how fare you? Never better, sir. I could take on a whole army, so I could. Just watch as I secure us a grand victory in your name, sir. Splendid. Uh, but while I appreciate your enthusiasm, I have a small request. Please do not run headlong into the enemy's ranks again. How many times now have we had to save you because you got separated? It, yes, sir. S sorry, sir. I will strive to do better, sir. And if I fail to learn my lesson, then I am prepared to die a warrior's death for my mistakes. Let us hope it does not come to that. You know, you have tremendous talent, Forsyth, but you are far too tense. Perhaps you should attempt to... loosen up. L loosen up, sir? Uh, all right, sir. I'll work on that right away. Just watch how loose I can be. Perhaps I am wasting my time. Ah, Forsyth, you're in fine form today. Sir Clive, never fear. I intend to slay as many foes as possible in your good name. Long live the deliverance and three huzzas for Sir Clive. Uh, yes, very good. Listen, Forsyth. I couldn't help but eavesdrop when you and Python were talking. You do know that you can speak to me the same as you do him, yes? Forgive me, sir, but I'm not certain that I grasp your meaning. With Python, you open up and speak your mind. You're friendly, relaxed. That's what I meant when I said you can loosen up. Just treat me the same as you would Python. Exactly the same, sir? Uh... All right, never mind then. Sir Clive? Forsyth, what's wrong? You look distressed. What happened to your usual vim and vigor? I'm sorry, sir. I tried to do as you said. And I mean, I tried everything. But I just can't seem to make it work. What are you talking about? You know, being... loose. You asked me to treat you the same way as I do Python, remember? But the only way I could do it was to treat Python with more respect. And the filthy things that man says. We ended up coming to blows. Lucas had to step in and pull us apart. How can I ever treat him like you? I think you may have approached the problem the wrong way. Sir Clive, why can't things just stay the way they are? You're the land's finest knight, a symbol of everything I've ever admired. And I know this is strange considering how long we fought together, but I still get excited every time I have a chance to speak with you. If I seem tense or get carried away, it's probably because of that. Do you know what I mean? Huh, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, we are? You're finally starting to open up. Just don't overthink it, all right? Also, I assure you that I am not worthy of such levels of admiration. You've seen all the terrible mistakes I've made. I feel guilty being put on anyone's pedestal. Nonsense, sir. True, losing Sophia Castle was a blow, and we've seen our share of failures. But I've watched you closely. Every time, you picked yourself up, dusted yourself off, and kept going. You are the reason we all still have hope. I want to put you on my pedestal. I want you pedestaled. Because it's my faith in you that gives me the courage to fight without fear. I know all may be our leader now, but you're still the banner we look to. You should remember that, sir. I shall. Thank you, Forsyth. And forgive me for asking you to change who you are. I realize now that you're already the sort of man the Deliverance needs. Y you mean it, sir? Oh, thank you. You honor me.